Hello everybody, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the Dog Marley's channel. During Christmas time, I feel like we all eat so many cookies, pies, baked goods, pastries, and sometimes we don't have enough to give our dogs. Well, in today's video, we are gonna be making three homemade holiday dog treats. We are gonna have Marley the Mop test them out and tell you guys which one her favorite is so you can make these dog treats for your doggies at home and all your doggies can be happy and have a very, very Merry Christmas. I will link everything up on the screen and also in the description box below and tell you guys if we replace anything or substitute and also the winner of today's challenge. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to cooking. First, we are making an apple cranberry dog treat for the holidays. For this treat, you are gonna need some milk. You're gonna need some oat flour, but our grocery store was all out of oat flour, so we are gonna substitute that for almond flour today. Cinnamon unsweetened applesauce and dried cranberries. We are going to mix in our cranberries, applesauce, and slowly we're gonna start to mix these. And then from there, we are going to add our milk. Only two of the tablespoons. Half teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we are gonna add our one cup of almond flour. We're gonna add the rest of that flour. All right, so now that we have our mixture all mixed up, we are gonna spice it up a little bit and add a little bit of food coloring. Mix it up. All right, so now that we have our light pink mixture, we are gonna put them on our big baking sheet. We are just gonna grab a little ball size with our hands, crumple them up and put them on the sheet. We aren't making these too fancy since we have so many. So we are gonna make a couple of these so we can still leave room for the two other cookies. So for these cranberry cookies, you are gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees and bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but because we have so many cookies, we are gonna bake them all at once, and so they can all be hot and ready at the same time. So we are gonna push these to the side and get started on our next treats. <laughs> so for this next recipe, we are making applesauce and oatmeal cookies, but today we are substituting for almond flour, so applesauce and almond cookies. We are going to need regular flour, two eggs, coconut oil, vanilla extract, and your almond flour. I'm gonna go ahead and start making these and I will see you guys in a second. All right, so to start this off, we are gonna crack one egg, one cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of regular flour. I'm slowly gonna whisk that egg and those flours together to make a dough-like consistency. You need a half cup of applesauce, one tablespoon of coconut oil, our one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let's get to mixing. Now that we have our dough all made, I'm gonna go ahead and add some green food coloring to spice up these cookies. We're just gonna do a little squirt. Guys, look at that green dough. So now I'm just gonna ball these sticky little dough balls up and stick them on the plate. <laughs> it's so sticky. All right, so now that those are all balled up, <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands and we're gonna go ahead and jump in to the next treat. <laughs> so next up we have Blitzen's favorite carrot treats. We are gonna be taking, not this. <laughs> we are gonna be taking a regular flour, one egg, and baby food, carrot baby food to be exact. First, we're gonna do one egg, whole thing of baby carrot food. Whoa. One cup of flour. I'm gonna take our handy dandy fork. We're just gonna get to start mixing. I'm not 
even gonna add food coloring in this one because this one is already a pretty um, orange color. It's a pretty, pretty light orange color. So now we're gonna take our dough and again, we are just gonna form some small cookies. I went ahead and preheated the oven to 350. We're gonna wait for that to preheat and then stick these in the oven for a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start to clean up this mess while everything preheats and I will see you guys in a couple minutes. Now that the oven is preheated to 350 degrees, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes. All right guys, Marley has been pawing at the door. She's so ready for her cookies. <laughs> All right, guys, our cookies are done. Let's pull them out and see what they're looking like. Here are our treats. The cranberry, which honestly, that feels so like a doughy texture. And we have the oatmeal and the carrot. Let's go ahead and let these cool and let's bring them to Marley. Look, Marley, we have a cookie treat. Oh, let's see what she thinks. You can eat it. Eat it. Oh, oh, yummy. You like that. You liked it. You wanna try another one? Oh, she's licking the plate, guys. She really liked it. All right, let's give her another one. Good Marley. All right, guys, next up is our Grinch cookie. Our green one. Here you go, princess. What do you do? Oh, she likes that one too. 10 out of 10. Oh, some of it fell out. Let's see if she eats it. Oh. oh. She really likes it. Last but not least, we have our <gasps> Our carrot souffle cookie. All right, you ready, Miss Marley? Boom, carrot cookie. Oh, oh. You need it? You need me to feed it to you? What, you not feeling it? Here, Marley. Marley. Maybe she doesn't like the carrot one. No? You don't like it? Here. Guys, watch her look away from me. Are you scared of it? Eat it, baby. Here. Look. In a piece? Oh, she likes it now. Okay, good to know. Oh, she likes it. Okay. So Marley seemed to like all the cookies. We are now gonna do the ultimate test and put all three cookies in front of her and see which one she goes to first. And that will be our winner of today's challenge. So I'm gonna go get the cookies and we're gonna see which one Marley likes. Okay, hold up. Ooh, and the winner is Cranberry cookie is Marley's favorite, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at her go. Let's see what her second favorite is. Oh, she's drooling. Oh, the applesauce and oatmeal cookie. The Grinch cookie. She didn't really like the carrot cookie, but let's see if she eats it. Oh, she loves it, guys. She's licking the crumbs. Look at her go. Oh. She ate all of them. She loves all of them. Marley, where'd all the cookies go? You ate all of them. I just, Marley was such a good girl and waiting and patient of us filming today. 
We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of this cookie tray down and just let her have a little Christmas feast. Look how cute our girl is. Oh, look at her. She's so excited, guys. Oh, Marley, what do I have? Ready? Boom. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You big bear, you ate all of them. Look, the whole cookie sheet, all the plates look clean. There's not a crumb on the floor. Everybody, that is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Me and Marley hope you have a great Christmas this year. Don't forget to comment down below if you made this for your puppy, what their favorite treats were. <laughs> so we can always know. Marley, say bye. Say bye to your friends. Say bye to your friends. Say bye to your friends. Oh, kisses. She loves giving kisses, guys. Oh, <laughs> at least you smell good. If you haven't seen our last week's video, which was Marley Goes to the Groomers, I will link it right above here, so go ahead and give that a click. Marley's getting a little tired, so I think, <laughs> I think we're gonna see her later. <laughs> Bye, guys, have a good Christmas. Come on, Marley, let's go play.